live, local, late breaking. This is KEZI 9 News at 11. Two Oregon teens go head to head with Governor Kate Brown in the state of Oregon in a climate change lawsuit. Good evening to you. I am Brian Richardson. That lawsuit took center stage at the Lane County Courthouse today. KEZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz was at that hearing. She is now live in the studio with both sides of the argument in our top story here at 11. Sarah. Well, the two teens who filed the suit wanted to take what's being done about the climate and global warming into their own hands. After four years, they finally got their day in court this afternoon asking for the judge to declare the state's obligation to protect the atmosphere. Climate change remains one of the hottest environmental topics. And for Oregon teens Kelsey Juliana and Olivia Chernek, the call to action started four years ago. I think youth should be extremely empowered to demand that those with more power, um, such as our government officials, you know, do their job for our benefit. As the focus turns to reducing carbon emissions across the country, here in Oregon, Kelsey Juliana says state legislators aren't doing their part. The teens filed their case against the governor and the state of Oregon, arguing the state by its own admission is failing to meet its carbon emission reduction goals and is not acting to protect Oregon's public trust resources or the futures of young Oregonians. I would think that, you know, the survivability and the livability of future generations would be the top priority. Attorneys representing Juliana and Chernek argued that the atmosphere is a public trust resource. The court needs to declare the atmosphere as part of the public trust doctrine, which basically means that it's a resource owned by the people of Oregon, and that in essence, the state is legally bound to protect it by reducing emissions. Or can the state just kind of sit idly by? and say we're trying, but um, we're not going to evaluate the outcomes as to whether they're meaningful. But the state argues the atmosphere does not fall within the public trust doctrine and that the plaintiffs are trying to group a bunch of policies together into a new law. And modify Oregon's public trust doctrine and use that as an opportunity to override and usurp the powers of the governor and the legislature. The state also argued no Oregon court has ever ruled to include the atmosphere in the public trust doctrine and that the plaintiffs are asking the court to do this despite the state's strong record of addressing environmental issues. Decades ago, the state and the governor began researching the impacts and, and um, causes of global climate, climate change and they've used this information to develop aggressive programs and policies to address the concerns surrounding global climate change. And both parties agree that the harmful effects of carbon emissions is irreversible. Now, there's no timeline for a decision on the case. We're told that it could take the judge a couple of months to make a ruling. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.